and welcome to another week of energy readings. We're looking at the week of December the 18th to the 24th. And uh, obviously there's a new moon on Monday. It's a new moon on Monday, but there really is. On the 18th we have the new moon. On the 21st we actually do have the winter solstice. And on the 24th we have Christmas Eve. So what that all means is, obviously what, what happens is uh, around Christmas time, is that many, many people have um, energy that is directed towards the future, towards a new year, as the old year is winding down. And also, there's a lot of people who are um, very happy because they go to see their family members, they exchange gifts, even though the real gift is spending time with one another. Um, and then there's the other side, um, where there's people that are isolated and when the festive season is um, upon us all um, they might feel even more isolated so but because the week has uh, by default a higher energy it makes sense to manifest and to be uh, grateful for the things that you do have and um, also send love and light to those less fortunate to those who who may not be as happy as, as you are um, on Christmas and around it. So, um, and now we have a look at the overall energy of the week and um, then go into the individual star signs. And um, so let's have a look what's going on in the, in the week, December 18th to the 24th. Overall energy, let's have a look. So what is happening for us, or energetically overall energy for, for all of us, is you have the snowy owl and the black bear. And so the idea is to um, wind down a little, be in your strengths, be in your softness, um, and really be with people that you trust and that you love, and at the same time listen to what is being said around you, um, pay attention to your own emotions, pay attention to how you feel, not just when you're around people, but just feel, feel, feel yourself and see how you truly feel. And, and above all, this is the week where you should reconnect to yourself. And, um, and I know it is difficult, but if you can try and let go of any hurt that you had in 2017, it probably helps you moving forward. And um, so, so that's another thing that, that, that should be a, a priority on the manifestation list, is to say like, you know, 2018 is my year. And I believe in myself, 2018 will be or is my year. So this week, 18th to 21st, uh, 24th, sorry, and then obviously the week after. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because Next week I won't be doing a video, I'm just too busy <laughs> next week. Um, so this is the last video of 2017. But um, the overall energy for this week, which is the week that leads up to Christmas Eve, is to truly um, wind down and realize that there are things that are out of uh, your control and try not to control them. Um, and that's what the snowy owl and the black bear are really about. It's about understanding the relationship that you have with other beings, with other uh, people, and understanding that in and amongst it all, you are still a fully formed individual, a spiritual light and a beacon for some people. And it's time probably, um, because 2017, by all accounts, um, has been a difficult year. Um, it's important to try to get some of that energy back and um, hence looking forward to things. And now we're going into um, the individual star signs starting with Sagittarius and just see what's going on uh, in the week. So Sagittarius have the Hunter of Honor and the Spirit of Wisdom. So what that means is, um, goes a little bit in the direction of the overall energy. The Hunter of Honor means that um, maybe 
this year, uh, people haven't quite honored you as much as you deserved. You were, um, well, maybe the way the way you were perceived um, wasn't the way you truly are. Not everyone acknowledged you, and so the hunter of honor is is that that what you feel to a large extent. Um, or might feel to a large extent, is that you feel there's something still missing. And the spirit of wisdom is that part that says to you like, hang, hold on there, hang on a second. When people don't give you your dues, don't try to make them give, them your, give, them your, uh, give you your dues. What needs to happen is, that's the spirit of wisdom, is that inside yourself, and this is for all you Sagittarius people out there, inside yourself, please notice, you are a good person and you have honor. You don't need other people to tell you how great you are um, because your soul knows that you have been doing and are doing the best you can and that sometimes where, when um, circumstances are difficult. Right? So this is, um, in other words, what I hear is, is to make peace with, with your feelings and with your emotions. And that's all I really have for the Sagittarius people this week going into Capricorn now. For Capricorn, you have the ancestor of illusion and you have the ancestor of protection. And what it really means is, it's time to reflect what has worked, what is working in your life, and what isn't quite where you feel it should be. And then realize that some of the things you probably wanted to make work, don't really work. And it's time to realize that this... Um, is difficult, has been difficult, and then say maybe it was an illusion, an illusion in the sense of, of, of thinking like, oh, you know, if we all work on this, it can, it can work. Um, it's time to let stuff go this week. It's important to let stuff go. It doesn't mean you should be falling out with people or situations, but it's time to realize that despite and besides, um, despite all your, 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 your great efforts, not everything works. And, um, it's time to reflect and it's time to speak your truth. You have the answer of protection, which means that speaking your truth this week is not only important, but you're also protected uh, by your guides while you're saying it. But say it with love, right? don't argue. Just um, make some space by telling people um, when you're not feeling appreciated. Okay? So that's Capricorn going into Aquarius. Right, very similar to, uh, to Capricorn for Aquarius this week. You have the shaman of reflection and the spirit of nurture. So this is a week for you um, to really reflect. And it's interesting because we're coming up to Christmas and because there's always a Christmas once a year, people tend to go from Christmas to Christmas or they go from Easter to Easter. You know, they go from, from one um, specific date to another. But this is about the moment. This is not about reflecting on how was the whole year, what's working, what isn't, because that was for, the, for, for Capricorn, your, your Aquarius, it's slightly different. This is just where you reflect, and you don't just reflect on the whole year, you just reflect on where you are at this point in time, in the moment, where am I? And then see where does it sit, you know, where, where does it sit, where, where am I not feeling the love that I give is being returned to me. And then you have the spirit of nurture, which means rather than making it about other people, hoping that other people are maybe as loving as you are and as giving as you are, give the same you give to others to yourself this week. Really, really important. So self-love, self-worth is really, really important for Aquarius. Okay? And now we're moving into Pisces see what's happening here for us Pisces. We have the shaman of foresight, and I say we because I'm a Pisces, we have the shaman of foresight and the dancer of life. 
what that means is starting this week it's important to not dwell on the past and that makes sense because um, you know the past as as enjoyable as it was is probably over and not everything that that one hoped for can be carried into the new year or into um, or can be kept in this life so we have the shaman of foresight which means it's it's important to realize that that we create our own reality by the way we 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 think and so what i'm hearing is is for the pisces and i say for us because i'm pisces too um to look forward and it doesn't mean that you have to have um mantras about oh i shouldn't have done this should have done this because just but it's, it's about letting it all go and just realize that we have foresight and we go to a future and then what I said earlier 2018 is my year should probably be the mantra for the whole week because we have the dancer of life so life continues and dancing is movement dancing is, is motion and dancing is life so life continues for all of for all us Pisces and it is about realizing as life continues we deserve like anybody else to be happy and to be appreciated so the message is as you move into christmas eve and beyond is to realize that life isn't over just because things have been hard it it will continue and we need to re-manifest um, a good life and positivity and i'm not saying it's easy uh, I, I know for a fact it's not it's called the concept of the wounded healer i talked about this before in other videos um, that you know we all need to go through stuff to sort of come out the other end stronger and that happened to many people this year uh, not just to us pisces but um, what i'm hearing is for us pisces is to really say i get it life continues and it is that continuation that i need to focus on right now right so that's us pisces going into aries now For Aries this week, it's important to watch your dreams. There will be loads of messages coming to you in dreams. It probably makes sense to have a dream journal. That doesn't mean that you remember everything, but when you have a dream journal, you're sort of um, programming yourself to remember bits and pieces of your dream and then write down what you memorized, what, what you could or can remember. Right, so you have the hunter of dreams, which means it's important for you to look at the dreams that you have. It also means the daydreams that you have. Um, notice thoughts that you have. If you have th thoughts that are repetitious, um, watch them because you have the dancer of joy. Like I said earlier, uh, when, I, when I talked about the Pisces, dancer is movement, dancer is life. You have the dancer of joy. So you have to create, because that's what dancing does. You have to create a higher energy to bring joy back, if that makes sense. That doesn't mean there's no joy in your life. It just means that there could be more and you deserve more joy in your life. So make it happen. Okay, that was the Aries going into Tauruses now. Good. Tauruses, you're quite <laughs> fortunate this week because you have the Shaman of Birth and the Hunter of Vision. So new beginnings are right here, right there, right now, if that makes sense. So we're looking at the week of December the 18th to the 24th and you have the Shaman of Birth. The so new beginnings are already here. They're manifested, they're happening. So trust it and believe it and go like yeah there are new beginnings and i embrace them because you have the hunter of vision which means you will probably um vision hunter of vision just means that that there are things that you can't quite you don't quite get yet uh trust for instance that you haven't quite managed to 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 have yet it's all there all you need to do is to is to focus on that vision of a better future and realize that it has already 
manifested. It's already here. So trust that a new beginning is not only possible, but that it has already become reality. And then embrace it to open it all up. Okay? That's Tauruses going into Gemini. Okay, Gemini, I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a very good week for you, if that makes sense, right? Um, because you have the shaman of courage, so courage is needed. You need to be able this week to um, undo damage is the wrong word, but, but to realize that, there is, that there are issues in your life that need sorting out now. And courage is to make your feelings known. It's not arguing, it's not about wanting to be um, right. It's about trusting that if you speak your truth, change can come about. And that's what it's about. You know, because it's a shame of courage. Like I said, uh, it means that, that you have to start this, uh, uh, speaking, speaking your truth. And then you have the ancestor of hope. Which means once you start speaking your, your truth and once you make your feelings known, um, hope means that new things can open up for you that can create a better future. Okay? So that's Gemini going into Cancer. Okay then, for the Cancer, Cancerians, you have the spirit of love next to you and you have the hunter of path. So the spirit of love obviously means that there is new love coming, coming in, but you have the hunter of path. So you, you're not quite sure where you're going here. And uh, all I hear so far is to just trust and, and if there is a flow for you, go with the flow. Try it out, but remember that path can change. Um, don't take things for granted necessarily, um, uh, but, but, but go in it with all your heart, if that makes sense, right? And that's all I got for, for, for the Cancerians going into Leo. Leo, you have the dancer of frustration and the spirit of family. This is the week, especially because it, 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 it leads up to Christmas Eve and you might be spending um, time with family. The dancer of frustration means that there is probably frustration with regards to your family. And there are things that probably haven't been talked about. This is the week to be in love. And that means as, a, as, a, as an emotion. Be, be love, if that makes sense, and be your best so that you can speak love and express how you feel with love. Because you have the spirit of family around you and the idea here is to, um, to um, manifest a new beginning in how family deals with one another. Right? So that's just Leo going into Virgo. And I said this before, um, family is not necessarily only flesh and blood. It's people that are so close to you that they feel like family, if that makes sense, right? So, going into Virgo, you have the shaman of loss and the ancestor of guidance. The shaman of loss does not mean that you will lose someone, but there is probably soul parts that have shut down. There is things that... Um, you miss there's maybe um, losses uh, you know of friends of soul parts of even emotions that sit inside you that make you feel incomplete if that makes sense and the shaman of loss is saying to you it's time to reflect on them so that you can heal from it and you have the ancestor of guidance and that means if you decide i'm gonna heal i'm going to heal from whatever it is that needs to be released and i trust that it can be released and that it is a good thing 
then you have the answers of guidance around you. So that will lead to a new understanding of and in life, if that makes sense. Okay? So that was Virgo going into Libra. You have the companion and the ancestor of exile. And that's interesting because the companion means relationship. So um, for those of you who are not in a relationship, <laughs> um, this could still be uh, important to listen to. Because you have the ancestor of exile, it means that there is a good chance this week that there are things happening right now that make you feel disconnected from the, the person you live with, if that makes sense. So from the companion. And the ancestor of exile also means that to, uh, it is important to, to look at things and look wha at what's happening there. Um, because you have the ancestor of exile, it means that you have been in these situations before. And all the guides are saying is, this is a good week to reflect on your relationship with um, your partner, if that makes sense. And if you've, you are a person that, that doesn't have a partner uh, and, and being Virgo, uh, sorry, being, being Libra, um, then it's important to realize that there might be things inside you from an old relationship that hasn't been cleared yet. Okay? And now we're going to the final star sign of today, which is Scorpio. So one more star sign to go. Okay, for Scorpio this week, remember we're looking at the week of December the 18th right through Christmas Eve on the 24th. Um, you have the Hunter of Strengths and the Shaman of Sorrows. So you need, when I say need, it always is in inverted brackets, you need to come into your strengths this week. You need to realize that strength is needed. You have the Shaman, sorry, yes, you have the Shaman of Sorrows. So there are things especially happening this week that um, you need to reflect on. There might be situations where you feel sadness, where you feel not content, where you feel it's all a bit off, and you need to be your strengths to get through it, if that makes sense. So allow yourself to be in your strengths. How you get into your strengths is by not allowing people who are needy to um, uh, take all your time. Um, you get into your strengths by, manifest by, 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 by manifesting a higher energy uh, or creating higher energy with a pendulum, for instance, with mantras, with, with thoughts of knowing that you deserve better. Uh, all these things are quite important, but you have the hunter of strengths, which means you're also looking for strengths. And strengths this week need to, needs to be created from within, if that makes sense. So it is much more important to not hang out with people, even if they give you a bit of strength, when they are all over the place. It doesn't quite work. So in other words, don't make this a busy week, if that makes sense. Make this a week of um, having time out. Make this a week of having, uh, you know, lovely tea, tea time, you know, where you really look after yourself. That's the most important thing, um, because it, it, we're coming to the end of the year. And you have the shaman of sorrows. So there is still stuff inside you, in your soul, that has not been released. And um, it's time to let that go. Right? So that's all we have time for this week. Like I said, we are, we are, there will not going to be a video next week. Um, it probably wouldn't, wouldn't make much sense because loads of people are all over the place. So, so nobody will probably watch it. Um, but I'm wishing you um, a Merry Christmas. And, and above all, much more important, I wish you happiness and I wish you all the things you want for yourself. I really do. It's really important to allow yourself to be the most you can be and, um, and then be who you truly are. So I wish you happiness. Um, for sure, I wish you uh, a lovely 2018 and I will be back uh, in January then. Okie dokie. Goodbye.